guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, I do mean over the top beautiful, summer evening here in the end times. Well, we have stumbled into a big Saturday night at Bugs in a Jar Farm where of course we get to enjoy the upcoming lightning bug show here. And uh, before the lightning bug festivities begin, check into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag. And I am thrilled to see a long comment from my old buddy. What is he calling himself now? I keep forgetting his new name. Bela Lugrisi. Bela Lugrisi, who some of you may know as the artist formerly known as Osama Number no. 5. And this is Bela, a.k.a. Osama Number no. 5, weighing in on that uh, asshole uh, blowing up the Georgia Guidestones. You know, we have the original criminal blowing up one of the four, and then the Georgia whoever it was, I still do not know who went in there and blew up the rest of them. But anyway, this is his obituary to the Georgia Guidestones. Did not know he was such a fan. Take it away, Bela Logrisi. <clears throat> The tenets listed on this monument are a message for the survivors of global catastrophe. The catastrophe is ongoing and will decimate the population. If there are any survivors, it seems that living according to these principles may allow human habitation without destruction of the environment, wars, and nationalist idiocy. It does say maintain population, not to kill anyone off. The devastating and irreparable damage to the biosphere is the agent of death, not eugenicists. I suggest compassionate degrowth starting with stopping or greatly reducing having babies. Uh, he is not a breeder for the record, my buddy is not a breeder. I cannot be a eugenicist if I volunteer to go first. There you go. Human-caused climate change releases 13 Hiroshima bombs worth of energy into the seas and atmosphere every second, 24-7, 365, with 400,000 tons of unsecured nuclear spent fuel rods needing constant grid power to keep them from burning unquenchably. It is highly unlikely that any life will ever recover from this human-caused mass extinction. Here is how it will go. Okay, listen up, folks. Bella Lugisi. I was going to tell you how it's going to go. <clears throat> Warming, leading to loss of habitat for humans, leading to human extinction, leading to no power grid, leading to 400,000 tons of radioisotope release, leading to loss of stratospheric ozone, leading to the loss of the atmosphere leading to Earth resembles Mars. Humanity is functionally extinct. Deal with it. <laughs> there you go. Humanity is functionally extinct. I mean, already. 
deal with it, and that is exactly, uh, you know, what it all boils down to is once you understand that humanity and all life on this planet, I think he would agree with me, is functionally extinct, at least for the next 10, 12 million years, you need to learn how to deal with it, uh, carrying around that knowledge that there's not a fucking thing anybody can do about it at this point. No rafts of space bubbles the size of Brazil are going to save us now. It ain't going to happen. We're toast. Deal with it and figure out how you are going to spend the rest of your life uh, carrying around this truth that 99.9% .9 of the planet uh, cannot handle. I choose to uh, deal with it by pouring a margarita, heading out on this beautiful Saturday night, and watching a firefly show, hopefully with this drop-dead gorgeous little hottie yoga teacher from Long Island. Uh, but she seems to have run off to Ithaca without me. I did not get an invitation. So, uh, anyway, so that is how I am dealing with it. So, I'll just throw out to the question, how are you dealing with it? But I want to thank Bella Lugrisi, a.k.a. the artist formerly known as Osama No. 5, for that fine obituary to the Georgia Guidestones, the late great Georgia Guidestones, may the rubble rest in peace. Bye guys.